<sighs> Welcome all, and thank you for watching another Tech Knowledge Made Basic video. Uh, today we will be discussing part two of disabling tracking features for Windows 10. So if you haven't checked out part one, make sure to do that. And then uh, just come back and watch this part two. Just kind of a continuation of that information. Uh, we will be disabling some of the telemetry features today in Windows 10. Uh, telemetry is just an automatic measurement and data collection from a remote system and it just transmits that information back to the receiving system uh, to be analyzed or monitored. Um, but before we do that, we want to take precaution in any changes that we make to our system. So I caution everyone and I highly suggest that everybody create a system restore point before you know making any changes. Um, and the changes th that we're making today are not you know too too big to where it could cause like a system failure or anything like that. But it's just good practice to create these restore points anyway, just in case. So we're going to go to, what we're going to do is go to the bottom left where our start menu is and do a right click. That way we can get a different set of options instead of the uh, start menu. And we're going to open up our control panel. So go ahead and go to control panel. And once that opens up, we're going to click on system and security. And then system. And there's different ways to get to this, but you know, this is one of the ways to get to these, uh, the system protection option. So go ahead on the left hand side here, click on system protection. And as you can see right now, by default, normally I believe it's set to off. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on and then create a restore point. So go ahead and do a left click over the local C drive, your system drive, where your operating system resides. Go ahead and click on configure. And then uh, choose the option where it says turn on system protection. And it's, it's set to 1%. You can set it to higher if you want to allow, you know, more storage for these uh, restore points. So if you're creating them, you know, quite often, I would say, you know, make it a little bit more. And, uh, you know, storage is quite large uh, nowadays anyways. So go ahead and just adjust it accordingly. Turn it on, hit apply, then hit OK. And uh, now that it's on, it's going to allow us the option to go ahead and create a restore point. So on the bottom here, go ahead and click on the create button. And just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it disable. Windows 10 telemetry. Click create. It's going to create the restore point for me. And this will just allow me to revert back to this point in time in case I really mess something up, um, which can easily happen, you know, all the time. So just caution. I would recommend to go ahead and do this and make sure that you have a, you know, a restore point from the point that you're starting all this before you make any changes. And you should get this message. The restore point was uh, created successfully. Let's go ahead and hit close. Hit OK. One other thing I would say is if you don't already have one, create a local admin account on your computer, which uh, gives you administrator rights, but you don't, and but you won't have to have a uh, Microsoft account to sign in with. Um, it you you may set a password. You may not. Depends on you know whether you want to. I would I would recommend to you know set a password on an admin account, considering it has you know rights to almost anything within the system. So to do that, let's go ahead and go back to control panel. Again, I have a control panel shortcut here, but in case you don't, just do a right click on the start menu, click on control panel. This time let's go to user accounts and uh, click on user accounts here. And let's choose the option that says uh, change user accounts. No, actually not that one, uh, manage another account. Click there. And right here, go ahead, click where it says uh, add a new user in PC settings. Let's choose the option right here where it says add someone else to this PC. And since we want a local admin account and we don't want to add a Microsoft account as an admin, choose the option where it says I don't have this person's sign on information. Then on the next screen, choose add a user without a Microsoft account. And then here, go ahead and create an account. So I'll just create one, just test 55. And uh, you can make a password if you want. Hit next. And it defaults it to a local account. Uh, what we're gonna do is click on it and we're gonna change account type. And it's the, instead of going from, uh, instead of keeping it on standard user, standard user, which is default, let's go ahead and choose administrator. And this is just gonna give us a separate account other than the one we're working with, just as another precaution. So just in case, you know, you completely mess up this profile, you at least have something else that you you know, can access your data with and that it'll boot into. So go ahead and click OK. Let's go back here. Go back to, to uh, refresh here. Actually, 
that may not work. We may have to come completely out of it, go back to the control panel, users, user account. And there it is, the test 55 account. So uh, if you do a right click over the uh, start menu and you get different options here on the uh, shutdown and sign out, you can sign out. If I signed out, it'll give me the option to sign in to either one of those, uh, any of those three accounts. Let's go ahead and close that. So, um, and the third precaution I would say is just make sure to back up your computer. I know so many friends and family members and uh, coworkers that just never back up. If your information is important enough to you, just back it up somewhere, back it up to a cloud, back it up to an external hard drive, to a flash drive, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, whatever you have. But I would highly recommend if your information is important to you, to definitely back it up and to back it up, back up as, as needed. So if you're somebody that creates new content constantly, make sure to save your work, make sure to, make sure to save it somewhere else other than your actual computer because computers fail, anything could happen. But anyways, now that we've done that, Let's go ahead and start turning off some of the uh, tracking features in Windows 10. So we're going to start by clicking on the Start menu on the bottom left, going to Settings. And what we're going to click on here is uh, Update and Security. And we're going to navigate over to Windows Defender. And what I would say, what I would recommend here, if you already have an antivirus protection uh, that's on your system that you installed, or that you downloaded from somewhere and you uh, installed other than Windows Defender, I would just say go ahead and turn all these three off here. So off, 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 and um, it's going to give you a warning when you when you do turn that off because Windows Defenders, you know, by default comes on Windows 10. So just disregard that if you already have something that's protecting your system. If you don't, then I would recommend to at least leave this uh, top one on here. So the next thing we're going to do now, after you disable these three things, go back to uh, settings, and we're going to click on privacy. And under privacy, we're going to navigate down on the left-hand side to feedback and diagnostics. And here, um, we're going to set this to zero. Um, basic is one, enhanced is two, and full, and three, I think, is uh, full recommended. So all these are different tiers of how it sends information back to the Microsoft servers or wherever the information is going back to. So zero is what we want. Uh, but it doesn't give us the option to do zero here, to do... Uh, a security. So what we're going to do, we're, go we're going to open something called uh, Group Policy Editor. So click uh, the Start menu again. Just simply type uh, GP Edit. And there it is right there, Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and do a left click, open it up. Let's maximize it a bit to make it a little bit larger. Expand this over here. And we're going to navigate to Administrative Templates. Click the uh, arrow. And Windows Components the arrow and what we want is data collection and preview builds so click there and on the right hand side we have the allow telemetry go ahead and double click it to open it right now it's not configured we're going to go ahead and enable it and down here at the bottom even though it says enterprise only we're going to go ahead and set it to zero so zero enabled apply okay and that's all we want to do here so go ahead and just close that and we're going to go back, we're going to refresh this, we're going to go back to settings, and then back into the same place, privacy, feedback, and diagnostics. As you can see now, it's grayed out, so I can't click it, so it's set to zero. And then we would just want to send this option here to never. So, again, zero and never. And uh, that's it for that part right there. The next thing we're going to do is disable some of these services that are running. So let's get out of here, close that. And by to do that, we're going to click on the start menu again and just simply type the word services. I'm just going to open up the uh, services uh, for Windows that are running. And we're going to disable uh, three things if they're, if they're here. If they're not in this list on your computer, don't worry about it. But uh, the first thing we're going to disable is, let's see if I can find it. Here it is, connected user experiences and telemetry. And it tells you what it does here if you want to read about it. So we're going to do a right click over it, go to properties, Startup type, instead of automatic, we want to set it to disabled. And hit OK. So that's turned off. The next one we're going to disable is data collection publishing service. Again, if it's available, if you see it in your list, here it is right there. Same thing. Go to properties. Set it to disabled. Click apply. OK. And the last one is um, DMWAP, I think. Let me see. Yeah, here it is. 
Yeah, D M W A P P U S H service. I believe it's like a, like an instant messaging or some kind of services that work with uh, SMS. So just go to properties, disable, apply, okay. So now we disabled uh, pretty much, you know, between between the stuff enabled disabled in the first video and this stuff here, it's you can go a little bit more in depth and you can uh, do you can download third party software such as uh, Do Not Spy 10, uh, Spybot Anti Beacon. That's going to go automatically and kind of do like a scrub in your system and disable anything else that's enabled and kind of monitor your system. Um, but in all honesty. There really isn't anything that's 100% going to disable all the uh, tracking features in Windows 10. It's just not going to happen. Uh, no matter how much you disable, it's still going to send information back to servers. Um, just the way it is with this uh, operating system. But between this two, I mean, you've, we cut back quite a bit. Uh, I would say anywhere in the range between probably maybe 30, 30 to 50% of uh, the information being sent back. So your, your computer isn't constantly being, you know, inquired for information. Um, like I said, you can look into those two softwares if you like, and it's going to help you disable uh, a little bit more. But between this, these, the first video and the second video, uh, you should be good, and it disables quite a bit of stuff uh, on there. So again, thank you again for watching another Technology Made Basic video. And if you found this helpful, please remember to subscribe to our channel and help us out by liking this video.